What's happening, Magnusites? Yeah. Sit down. Let, let, let's talk about some women today. Before I do that, I'm thinking about taking my look into a new direction. Okay? Thinking about changing my face bone up a little bit. I think I'm going to grow me a Ming the Merciless. Okay? Um, he looked like the goddamn devil, don't he? But I ain't going to look like the devil. Okay? I'm, I'm going to grow me a Ming the Merciless. Okay? From, from my chin, chin plate. And then... The top part of my face plate is going to have the Afro Samurai, okay? Because I'm going for kind of like a wandering warrior, vagabond, uh, um, Magnus of a man, don't give a fuck, travel the world, world warrior, um, Ryu, uh, Goku, Superman-ish, uh, that don't shave, Viking 300. Leonidas type of look, okay? Just just so y'all know. I'm going to just roll all of that, roll all of that shit together, okay? Afro Samurai and Ming Merciless, all, all of them I just named, roll them all together. That's what I'm going for. I'm on a journey discovering myself. But in discovering myself, I ran across a, um, uh, a article talking about embarrassing things that women do, okay? So let's get to it because this is, Y'all know I like doing these lists, cause this I get I, I do it right off the cuff. So let's let's start discussing this. This is embarrassing things that women do that they don't admit to us. All right. So first of all, number one, we rarely wash our bras. Okay. I didn't know you nasty heifers didn't do this. So let me. Uh, it says, and by rarely I mean never. We assume they just don't get dirty, and then wear them the same one day after the next <laughs> even if we have a whole drawer full of bras we probably only wear a few of our favorites we don't want them to get ruined in the wash so check this out what i want the women to do by the way is i know this don't include all of y'all okay we're just having some fun right now but girls when you post your comments let me know which numbers you are because it'll be funny to to know you know if this is the truth get what i'm saying all right, so number two is we pick our noses. That one's fucking true, okay? I used to catch an ex-girlfriend picking her nose all the time, and I called her Cardinal Sin because she did everything that could ever disgust a man. It was just her. It was all came in one nice package called her, okay? <laughs> it was just what it was. I just don't know what it was. She was sent to, to, to bring me down a level, to teach me about life and that women aren't these... Um, these uh, goddesses that men put on a pedestal. She let me know that they are imperfect. <laughs> that there are many and nasty, godforsaken things that they do. So one of them was picking the nose. And, and, and it says, women do this probably much more than you think, especially in the, the, in the, in the carer, really anywhere um, when there isn't a tissue handy. I mean, who's going to get up and get a tissue when I can't just when I can't just get in there? They didn't write this right. When I can just get in there and take care of things, ladies, if you fail me, so you know a woman wrote this. Check this out though, right? So talking about this, I always thought to myself. I said, you know, with girls growing their nails as long as they do, it must be easy as hell mining for nose gold. Like, that's your own pickaxe. It's like, you know, like, uh, get that shit right on out, uh, roll it up, ping, you know what I'm saying? Practice against throwing it against the wall or something like that. So I know y'all have an easier time with that. Number three, we hate shaving. Well, I, I, I can see that. It says it doesn't matter where or even how nice the razor is, we still don't like doing it. Whether it's our pits, our legs, our crotch areas, shaving is a pain and takes up way too long. It takes way too long in the shower. Lots of women wear pants, especially when it's cold outside, just to avoid the hassle of shaving. Plus, we hate getting razor bumps on our lady bits. <laughs> okay. All right. I can see that. I always knew y'all didn't like shaving. Oh, God. We are particular about pooping in public. Men are the same way with this one. 
It says, uh, when we have to, and absolutely, I mean, have to go while out in public, we try to pretend we're not in the stall and act dead silent. If someone comes in, we won't poop until they're left the bathroom. If they came to poop, there's usually a poop stalemate. <laughs> Nobody wins in the poop stalemate. Do you really do this, ladies? I, I I can admit, I don't like going in public at all. But I do, the, the whole bathroom got to be empty. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sucker that come in, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm polite, but, you know, I like to uh, uh, evacuate and flush. Evacuate, flush. Get it out the way. They make it as quick and clean as possible because I don't like it at all. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, <laughs> it'd be funny with girls post number four. <laughs> we have gross shower habits too. Oh, boy. Ugh. This is number five. It says, yes, women pee in the shower. <laughs> Why go in the toilet when <laughs> you're just going to get in the shower again? And let it run down the drain, right? And all women stick their hair that falls out on the wall of the shower <laughs> with the intent of removing it after. Sh Sarah used to do this shit. She used to do this shit. She stayed in my house a few times. And when she did, I remember one time I came in to, to, to get something out the bathroom. And I figured I'd mess with her. And when I, you know, pulled the curtain back, she had all this hair on the fucking wall. I was like, what are you doing? She was like, that's, that's what I do. I'm going to remove it. It just says it's for washing and it falls out. Collect it. And I was like, okay, whatever. As long as you clean it up. And I found out first through her. So that's number five. I don't know if she peeing in the shower. But anyway, um, number six. We deal with that time of the month with that time of the month creatively. I'm sure you all do. As, as disgusting as a bodily function as it is, I'm sure it's dealt with as creatively as poop it is. Uh, it says, have you ever been out and about and discovered that your friend Flo came to visit and you have no pads or tampons with you? No, I haven't had that happen. I've heard about it though. It says, yes, women have to get all DIY by rolling rolling up wads of toilet paper or we bleed in our underwear. Yes, we know it's gross, but unfortunately, you know, inevitable at times, we soak it afterwards in the bath or sink sometimes. Forget about that, too. Uh, let's see here. Number seven, we don't shower every single day. day you nasty heifers. And y'all talk about us not showering regularly. And every day. See? First of all, I heard you ain't supposed to anyway. I heard a lot of other countries don't do it. Because it washes away your natural pheromones and oils and skin that lubricate you and keep you and all that shit. But listen, so it says, our hygiene is questionable at times. We can go four days without washing hair and validate it by using dry shampoo. No time in the shower. She says, no time in the shower. Wash off armpits and apply perfume or lotion all over body. No time to wash face. Too lazy to wash face. No problem. Reapply new makeup over yesterday's crusty makeup. I want to know which one of you, you nasty bras, do this. <laughs> all right. Number eight. Assume the position. So women fart. Sometimes out loud. Usually in the car or when we're alone. And we laugh hysterically. <laughs> Sometimes, though, we can't fart out loud. Job interview, first date, etc. So we we get into a strategic position so that we can either hold it in or let it out really slow, praying the whole time <laughs> that it doesn't stink. <laughs> well, that's something guys do too. So that one's normal. We struggle in the dressing room. I've seen women get dressed, so I already know you do. I, the one that cracks me up the most, that cracks me up the most is when y'all putting on the jeans and y'all be like, you know what I mean? That whole thing right there, you know, the, 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 that shit is hilarious to me. <laughs> it says, 
Especially when we put on something that's too tight. See? Uh, restrictive. And then we can't get it off. We panic for a moment. And force said clothing hard to pull off our bodies. Number 10. We want to look good when we're emotional. <laughs> that, that's true. It said we will always check to see how we look after crying. And sometimes watch ourselves cry. To see if we're pretty criers. Jesus Christ. Y'all do that? To see if you're a pretty crier? <laughs> um, it's not usually the case. Puffy eyes, red nose, and swollen cheeks don't really make anyone look hot. Yeah, some girls actually kind of have a cuteness to them when they cry. But uh, not all of you. Uh, oh, that was it. Okay, so that was the end of the list. There was nine of them. Alright, so, let me know what y'all think of the list, ladies. Which one of the one through nine are you? Or are you all nine of them? Okay? Alright, so all you nasty bitches, post your comments below. <laughs> one million subscribers. Woo!